I was going YouTube. <clears throat> um, I know I've been on like a dry streak with uh, with my videos, but um, I'm officially you know home from school, so I actually have time to make these videos now. Um, I am taking request requests as of right now. Um, you know anything you guys want to see. Um, it is the winter, you know, breeding season, so my feedings are monthly right now, but, um, I will post a feeding video, uh, once the new year comes, um, you know, maybe, maybe the week before, who knows, but there will be at least one, um, and other than that, it's whatever you guys want to see, um, you know, before... This video, I posted some. Uh, I posted a status on my uh, my Facebook. Those of you who don't follow that, you should go do that. Um, you know, just saying what you guys would want to see in these videos. And um, this request, I forgot the kid's name. Actually, that's how you read it. Gregory Bonner? I don't want to say Boner. I'm sure that's not how you pronounce it. Could be, but whatever. Um, he is a subscriber to my Facebook, J Rods Red Tails. It's, uh, it's in every description of my videos. So, again, if you haven't liked that, go do it. And he wanted to know how to handle an aggressive boa. Um, personally, I don't handle my aggressive bows. Um, I'll be the first to say it. I'll take them out. I'll let them get their exercise in, uh, in the shower, the bathtub, whatever. But I don't physically, you know, hold them. Um, and that's for older bows. Uh, younger bows I do play with. Um, don't judge these because uh, tomorrow is my cleaning day. But Okay. You see here. We have a very small boa. They just ate a little while ago, so I don't want to take them out. But um, usually I'll take these feeding tongs, pick them up. Um, usually I'll have a glove on my left hand, a rubber kitchen glove. I keep that over here. See that? <coughs> um, they don't like the taste of latex at all. And it's much more forgiving on their teeth. Um, you know, cloth like this, they tend to get stuck and, you know, you can leave some teeth in there, so, um, I like to deal with rubber better. You'll still feel it a little, um, their teeth are very sharp, but, uh, you know, it's not, a. you won't bleed most of the time, so. <coughs> um, so yeah, you know, younger bows I'll deal with, um, you know, Try to tame them down. And, um, in the case of the, the older ones, this is Jack. Um, it becomes a lot to deal with. Um, bigger snakes, bigger teeth, bigger muscles. Uh, you know, it's not like with a small snake. You can take a couple bites from the glove. These guys uh, can do some damage no matter what you're wearing. Um, if I have to get them out, you know. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm at my monthly cleaning, the bleaching of the cage, whatever. Um, what I do is I take my big feeding tongs and I block the head. Um, I am alone. I don't have anyone to tape me, so it's kind of hard. But um, what I do is I just block the head. I will have a bin something like what I have my clothes from, you know, this is what my, uh, my dirty hamper is basically for college, but, uh, you know, these kind of bins right here, you get them really cheap at Walmart, um, I'll just try to block the head as good as, you know, to the best of my abilities, and, um, just kind of grab either the midsection or the tail, 
and um, you get them in that bin, and um, and then that's you know I clean the cage, whatever, and then um, you know to get them out, I'll bring the bin over here, and uh, I will literally just lift it up, and um, you know I'll take the head with these tongs. I'll just go under the neck like this and I will lift their head up to the lip of the cage so they just kind of go in on their own um, that's always worked for me. Jack isn't that bad Jill is actually sick right now uh, I have her in quarantine as you can see I duct taped her cage off leech the shit out of it um, more on that later <laughs> but um yeah, that's what I do for these guys. Um, this is a 2010, obviously then a full size boa. Um, let me turn my oh, I can't turn my flash on. Shit. Um, for the bigger ones, the only the only full grown adult that I have to deal with is Sally. She's breeding right now, so I don't want to bother her the whole time, but um. Bella's around the same size. <clears throat> now this is a, I mean, I'm sure most of you know, four by two cage. Um, Jesus, I almost fell. Um, very big girl. She's almost, I'm going to say she's a comfortable eight feet. Very thick, very big. Um, again, she's not bad. I can take her out, no problem. Sally developed a very moody personality this breeding season. I'm hoping it's just going to go away. But uh, other than that, um, with her, basically the same thing. I try to um, basically coax her into a, uh, a bin, again, like this. Um, it's pretty hard because, you know, those of you who don't have boas or have ever dealt with a bigger snake once they reach that size there's no controlling them really um, if they want to go somewhere they're going to do it and uh, you know <laughs> good luck stopping them um, very strong very fast uh, very dangerous when you're alone um, basically what I do is just try to get her head because you know once you bother her enough she'll try to get out of the cage and she'll go on the sides try to get tangled up in the wires um, I, once her head is out and it's kind of she'll try to curve around this corner that's when I grab her body while you know keeping her neck on that side I'll try to throw her body into a bin um, you know this whole time if she when she gets the chance she does strike at me very hard and very far. She has very good reach. Um, it's it's tough, but uh, you know I get her in, and then it's basically the same uh, same procedure as uh, the two, little 2010s, like Jack and Jill and uh, Jade is another one that's pretty uh, not aggressive. She's she's another story. That's, <laughs> I've talked about it before, but. Again, doesn't like to be held. Um, and yeah, that's it. Um, again, I know uh, it's not the orthodox thing to do, but if I don't have time to uh, deal with these aggressive ass snakes. Um, I mean, I'm figuring, you know, the way uh, the way I see it. Once once they're two years old and their personalities haven't changed they're never gonna change um, I could be wrong you know I've been in this hobby about six years now I'm not an expert um, I don't try to be an expert I'm just giving my advice on um, you know, to, to the best of my knowledge what, what from my experiences um, you know, I'm sure a lot of people will say oh just hold him and it'll be fine my 
my Central American bows have never calmed down. Um, I, I'm, I'm sorry, calm down. Jack has calmed down. I can kind of, I can touch him every now and then, and he won't kill me. But uh, he's very unpredictable. I'll say that they're unpredictable. One day I can take him out and he'll be fine. The next day, I can take him out and without warning he'll strike. So, um, but yeah, that's it. Um, I hope this satisfies, you know, everyone's curiosity. Any any questions you guys have on what I do, um, leave it in the comments. I know it was a long video, but uh, hope it wasn't too bad. <laughs> You know, obviously it sucks when you have a bow like this, beautiful, um, teapot didn't about by now. You know, can't take them out and hold them, but, you know, they're like people. Everybody has their own personality, and uh, some people just don't want to be messed with. <laughs> but, um, hope that helped. Again, any other questions, um, I'll put it in the description, I'll, uh, Apex Serpents, Alex, uh, I consider him a close snake community friend. <laughs> uh, he has another great one um, on trying to handle aggressive snakes using the snake hook method. Um, that does work on snakes like Jade that are kind of um, flighty, you know, like very cage aggressive, but once they're out, they're fine. Um, that method does not work on snakes like Jack and Jill who are aggressive no matter what, whether they're out the cage or not. Um, I've tried it and it didn't work, trust me. <laughs> but uh, I'll put the video anyway and um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Keep the requests coming and uh, I will get them, trying to get them done before I go back to school. So, hope you enjoyed.